A villager in South Africa's Limpopo province ponders over a dead, collapsed baobab tree. The trees are a lifeline for many who live here. I'm very confused when those trees died because we, we get help from this tree, healing, and then food we get from these baobab trees. Shelter we get from baobab trees. This tree is estimated to be 1,200 years old. It is among the scores of baobabs that are dying at an alarming rate in South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Scientists say rising temperatures and drought caused by climate change may be the reason. In the southern areas of, of the baobab distribution, we see very few uh, juvenile trees, but at the same time we're losing the mature trees. So what we're probably looking at here is a shift in their distribution in response to, to climate forcing. Baobabs are the largest flowering tree in the world and can grow more than 20 meters high. Their trunks and branches store large amounts of water sucked up during the rainy seasons. People use the tart fruit to make nutritious drinks and a yogurt-like food. It's like a type of medicine. We get energy from that thing. Baobabs are part of a larger ecosystem that yeah. supports countless animals, large and small. It is so important to the life of the people and the ecosystem. Perhaps it's time we start to you know, put those species on the list of restoration priorities because we can plant species like, it's very easy to grow the seed of, uh, a, to grow a plant from the seed of baobab for those who know to do it. Efforts to restore the ancient baobabs are growing more urgent as the magnificent trees that have stood here for millennia slowly disappear. Deborah Block, VOA News.